Look at this. This poor girl drove three and a half hours. Hi. Hi. How far was your drive? Oh, about two hours. Oh, it was two? Okay. I was oh, thinking it was two. three. Oh, well, two. to me, two's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see what you're doing here. I got the lungfish up there in the bucket, and then this guy is the clown knife. And uh, I had this sealed up. It's probably a little too heavy to... I got gotcha. you. Well, we uh, we drain them down. We put them on rollers. We take them to the back, and okay. so right. we got a whole system. What we do? Do you want me to open this up or leave it? I know uh, we need it open to drain it. So right. yeah. It was good seeing you again. Yeah, you too. <laughs> I think I missed you last time because I think you were on crutches. You just had your surgery. Hopped um, up on Percocet. Oh, that was the shoulder. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They had retached uh, three tendons onto my shoulder. I couldn't use my arm at all. It was useless. Sucks, they had to reattach it, and now I could use it, but if I used it, I might rip off the stitches. So they put me in an immobilizer, and, yeah, they gave me all kinds of... Uh, um, Good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not one for, for uh, pain pills. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. um, they make you feel... Well, not only that, but uh, they also stop you up. And, oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I had a bad time with that years ago and never taken oh. pain pills since. Oh, God, yeah. So, uh, but now they, they, they give you, uh, uh, like, a muscle relaxer or a stool softener with the pain pills. So this time yeah, I was kind of, I was, right, I was kind this of enjoying really myself. Works. This tape really works. It's really yeah. it's waterproof, knife-proof, everything. Well, it wasn't waterproof, but it's knife-proof. What tape is that? It, this is a uh, Gorilla waterproof, okay. like, or weather-resistant tape that uh, did not stop the water coming out. My, my no? car is completely soaked. Aw. That's okay. Oh, here it is right here. No, that's not it. Nope. That's a different. That's Gorilla tape. It's like duct tape. tape. Yeah, that looks more rubbery. This is a rubbery. Yeah, I just didn't, I had, I had like just enough to cover the lid, but not enough to make it waterproof. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it does stick, don't it? Yeah, it's like, yeah. A, it's like a latex uh, Oh my god. <laughs> S&M oh, no. suit for... Oh, you've been around the block then. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's, it's just something I've read about. Okay. I didn't mean that literally. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a wet suit Ugh. for, for uh, notes. Oh my god. Oh, he is alive. Okay, that's good. That's always a plus. That's always a plus. <laughs> you drive two miles and they're alive. All right. So you remember Julie? No? Did you meet her last time you were here? Yeah. I brought you the funky big goldfish. Oh, yes. You remember yes. that? Funky I came fish. late at night. I had my daughter with me. Yes. I yes. Did. did they live? Yes. There's no bad for did they live? You're at a you're at a bona fide real rescue here. <laughs> well, there was one of them that was blind. I thought, you know, this thing's never gonna find food. Everybody's gonna eat the food oh, before you can find it. Trace, you wanna run back there and grab me a siphon hose when you take some water out of this? So how was Florida for you guys? Oh, Florida was great. You know, she don't like me much, I don't like her much, and we were stuck what? together for a week, you know. <laughs> but uh it was, a, it was a good time. Um, <laughs> took her to the beach. She didn't want to go swimming. Uh, took her, and, and you know what? We sat there and it was a game of this. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? <laughs> I'm like, okay, Tracy, do you want to get something to eat? Yes. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so we tried a, a, a few different restaurants. And uh, the one, the best place we found while we were down there was this little place. And it was like a little, I don't know, like a cafe on the side of the road with a oh, really? bunch of bikes out front and uh, it looked like a dive bar that turned into a afternoon uh, uh, uh you know like you'd stop and get a club sandwich or something that's cool those little places are great aren't they yes this guy in there was talking about being a chef and he's doing doing this and he's doing that and he's he went and tried out for this and he made the best reuben i've ever had really? it was <laughs> so good i had to take pictures of it what? That guy taking pictures. Of uh, I didn't put it on, on Facebook. I just had to take pictures of it to show my son. It was so good, and and oh my, it was just the way that he he fried the bread. Ooh, and, and I love it when it's fried. Yes, it was yeah. so good. The pastrami was awesome. 
thick and dry. It was just a great sandwich. Oh my God. You can leave that. You don't have to worry about that. If you want to hold this here, Trace, I'll do that, Ed. You don't want to do that. Uh, you got to tilt the, tilt that. There you go. You want me to take this muscle? No. Just be a little thing compared to what you guys have. Let me see him. He was in a 10 gallon. Well, he was in a 15 gallon. Oh, yeah. He's tank. a cute little guy. <laughs> he is. He's a, is he? Are the other ones big, not big, too? Or are they bigger? I'm sure they're I got bigger. a much bigger in the 4400, but I got some smaller in the uh, 180. Well, yeah, I don't have the guts to feed him what he wants to eat. Uh, he see, you gotta, goldfish. you gotta get that off alive. You gotta, we do that. Sometimes I look like a fool, but I'm out back. I've got some fishing line and a piece of shrimp, and I'm bouncing yeah. it in front of them. Yeah. <laughs> Once they eat the shrimp, then they're good. Oh, really? Yeah. So you you feed them um, dead shrimp, then you don't feed them. Yeah, store bought shrimp. Okay, yeah. gotcha. I couldn't get them to eat anything. See, I've been feeding them ro rosy reds. Uh, and oh. Best to hunt is rosy reds. But. Oh yeah, that, by nature, that's what they do. Anything that fit in their mouth. So fast, too. They're really <laughs> fast. Like they just sit around they, all they day and just shoot put a forward fish in. while sucking water in their mouth at the same time. So it's like a double attack and the fish yeah. has no chance. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's really stealthy. Really stealthy. Yeah. And I really appreciate Tracy. you guys being here today to take them. Oh, no problem. She asked, How was our vacation down there? I'm like, Well, she do not like me much. <laughs> Why would he say that? We were stuck together for a week in this little Airbnb hotel. The bed was five foot long. My feet stuck off a foot. I was, and then we Who we booked an Airbnb hotel. I though? did. It was a it was a, a guy's house that he had turned it into. You had your own lock. You press the the code to get in. Okay. And it was attached to his house, so it's okay. your own little apartment. Yeah. And it was really nice. Did Best it come shower. With a cat? No cat. Okay. No cat. Okay. <laughs> But the bed was tiny. It was the best shower I'd ever seen, but the bed was tiny as can be. So we didn't spend much time there. But, uh, yeah, but you were got you pooped up. And then yeah. I, I messed up. When you do Airbnb, you got to take your fingers and spread for the days you want. So I did, and then we get down there. I had to be out of Airbnb on the 22nd. We're not going back till the 23rd. What? We had to sleep in the, in the rental car the last night we were there. Are you serious? Yeah. Does this happen a lot? No, you stop lives. it. I handle insane. everything. It was just a, a calamity of, of things that went wrong. Yeah, it's a comedy of errors. But uh, it was a good time. It was. We had a fun time at, at Rodrigo's at Predatory Fins. We helped them set up. Oh, she had a fun time. Going. She got into the ocean, and we're there to swim. We're just testing the water out first. <laughs> then we'll go back to the car to get our swimsuits. Right. She goes into the ocean, and, and you see her. She goes in about up to her knees, and then she turns around and runs out. I'm like, what? She goes, there was a fish. <laughs> I'm like, Tracy, <laughs> on what planet are you scared of fish? <laughs> it's different it's touching you when you can't see the bottom. It is. It's it is. Different. It was very, very cute. <laughs> Her favorite part of not going to Florida was trying the different restaurants. Oh, yeah. Florida has a lot of really good stuff, depending on where you are. Yeah. We took her to one place. What was that, that uh, macaroni and cheese place called? Ooh. They had Philly cheesesteak macaroni. Oh, really? Then they had... Uh, chicken parmesan pepperoni and there wasn't much meat in each one and but man the taste was amazing yeah. that was good high price though yeah you know what this is what happens to us when we're after 40 we go to places <laughs> and we remember the restaurants we talk about the food right. the good ones. it used to be like the sex or the hot dudes or or like one time you have with your girlfriend and then after 40 it's like the food the food would, was good you've never worried about hot guys in your life i was telling one of josh's friends the other day I was like, you know, once you get a certain age, there's really nothing to look forward to. I mean, seriously, uh, you, you got your way of life. You, if you're getting ahead, you're doing okay, and all that's fine. But at, at the end of the day, and you're done working and scrambling for the day, what do you do? You yeah, sit down so, and you eat, yeah. you watch a movie, and you go to sleep. And you you're lucky if you have somebody you can sleep in the same bed with to wake up. I don't know, Tracy. Can I go come back to the master bedroom now? <laughs> you stop it. She's never thrown me out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it should be, yeah. We should be able to lift it. Okay, if you want to hold this, I'll do the lifting. Just point it anywhere else.
Um, you probably should take it. I can. I mean, I've got totes. Okay. You should probably take it with you, because as much as an animal lover as you is, you might find some more fish. <laughs> Ouch, Tracy, can you? I'll take that. Yeah. We'll come back and grab this guy. Oh. Okay. Uh -oh. Yeah, nope. There's on. something up there. I caught it with my head. We're good. <laughs> Girls are working hard over here. <sighs> Made it right over. Come on, Brutus, where you at, buddy? You see where he went to? I'm oh, here he comes. Not encouraging you in this. There he is. Ah. Oh, you took it like a man. <laughs> Most people jump and scream when that happens. <laughs> You're on camera now. You took it like a man. <laughs> what are you doing there? <laughs> I'm videoing you while you're videoing the fish. <laughs> No, I wanted to say thank you for all that you do to save the fish and to help out and bring them to us. And, you know, it's a lot of gas spent and money and time. And oh, yeah. I've been talking to you for, what, three weeks now about fish this and fish that and what to bring them in and all. You you, you do a lot. You go yeah, up and above. I want to thank Thanks. you for that. Thanks. It's lovely to come here. Oh, and his name, that's Pittsburgh. He is a uh, Mabu puffer. He's really neat. Look at that face. Oh, look at you. You're kissing the fish. <laughs> He doesn't seem to mind. Oh, I'm sure he don't mind. <laughs> Fish are all acclimated in their spots. See, guys, this is the type of neighborhood it was. We were in the back for like an hour. This car is out here running with both doors open. The key is sitting right there. We weren't out here. We were in the back. Listen, and don't make that public because they do that all the time. <laughs> and it sat here like this the whole time for an hour. But if I put koi in that pond way over there, someone seals them. That's crazy. Oh, no. Thank you. Thank you and all that you do. <laughs> You guys have a great the rest of the night, all right? You too. Enjoy your couple hour drive oh. home now. Oh yeah, the stickers, come on. Okay guys, Julie left. I wanted to show you the fish now that we got them acclimated. There's that clown knife right there. Real nice looking clown knife. Okay guys, Julie left. I want to bring you in here and show you the fish. It's this clown knife right here. We got a couple of marks on him. I don't know if that was the fish he was in with or the, the move here, but he's in with some other clown knives now. And, you know, she's an awful nice lady. She come up here on her own time doing her thing. She rescued the fish and she brought him up here. I mean, she's just a sweetheart. I, I, I love how once I got into this, uh, I'll trace his clean in there. I'd show you that, that tank in a second. Um, once I got into this, uh, this whole fish rescue thing, I've met so many nice, good people with good hearts. And that's what I'm surrounded with now. Uh, you know, I came from Cleveland and 
and I was surrounded by all kinds of stuff. So I was jaded against the world. And, you know, now you meet people that are just so giving and, and helpful and kind and, you know, caring. That's what, that's the word, caring. And I love surrounding myself with the kind of people. So uh, let me see if I can get a picture of this guy. This is the lungfish she brought up. He's gorgeous looking. And, uh, you know, I just love being surrounded by, you know, all you good, good people out there. I swore I never thought there was this many good people in the world. And it's just, I, I love this whole fish rescue thing and everything it's put me through and everything I've, I've done. And I've just met so many good people and I can't stress it enough. I just love that. So, uh... Pittsburgh's sad to see her go. He got a kiss from her. <laughs> if you guys like the videos, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, of course. And, uh, you know, if you can, share them. These are the goldfish that we had rescued from the last event at a church. And they're all healed up. Nobody's got ick no more. Nobody's got cloudy eye. The fins have all grown back. It's just a shame what they do with these goldfish. And, but you guys take care. But uh, keep watching. Take care. Bye.